All right, it's 8.15. I wanted to show you guys the... Hello, my name is John Yu and I live in New York City. When I'm not brushing people's teeth, I think about fitness and bromance with my gym bros. But fitness will be the main focus of this vlog. Sorry to disappoint. By the end of this video, I hope you'll discover something useful or intriguing to further explore your own health journey. In the end, my goal is to spread information in a digestible format and to start dialogue and topics ranging from health to productivity to anything that improves our quality of life. Special thanks to the sponsor of this video, Copilot, an affordable fitness coach app that provides personalized workouts tailored to your goals. And a huge shout out to my coach on Copilot, who's been so fun to work with the past two months. You'll meet my coach later. Stay tuned for healthy gains and thanks for watching. Hey there, what's your name? This is Tater. Hi Tater, good morning. <laughs> Such a cutie. That's the famous vessel and the shopping at Hudson Yards. I always feel so lucky to be able to live in New York and to be able to go to a gym as cool as this one. Uh, every day is really, every day is a blessing for sure. Let's get started. It's getting warm out, so I gotta work on my booty gains. I usually start off with the Stairmasters or some form of incline cardio to break a good sweat. And then I spend about five minutes stretching, nothing fancy here, just grooving to my music and letting Copilot do its thing. I asked my coach to give me an intense volume workout this week, so I'm working on high reps and minimal rest in between. Here's my Apple Watch and my headphone telling me to get my butt back on the machine. I actually really love this feature, it's underestimated. It helps you to keep a healthy and intense pace for your workout. For people who check their phone or emails between sets, like me, this will keep you from losing that critical momentum. Be mind blown by this view and take you upstairs. There ain't no sunshine like they say. Every time she's gone away, I think I wanna hold you. Alright, look at this view. It's starting to warm up in New York. Well, it feels great to be back in the routine, putting on some pounds, getting my cardio back in shape. If you're not seeing results and you're still putting 100%, maybe it's time to change up your workout slightly change up the kind of uh, intensity that you're reaching and to treat your workouts like you would any other scientific method to diagnose your problem to figure out what might be effective and then to reanalyze your results i think once you break it down into a structured routine it might make it more fun because it's more of a trial and error method of guesswork one thing i really miss about uh, going to the gym as a college student as a dental student is i would always go with a partner like my gym partner and we would always be holding each other accountable you don't need a fancy gym to work out whatever makes it easier for you and if you have the means to go for it uh, at first i didn't want to pay 385 dollars a month for this gym membership but it helped me get back on track so if you don't want to dish out money to do your workouts that's fine there's so many home workouts that you could do there's so many other ways to get in shape whatever makes it easier for you to invest in your health to get some results. I think it's worth it. We have some important things to discuss. Uh, let me finish my workout real quick. See you later. This was taken on another back by day, on day 24 to be exact. I requested frequently that my workouts incorporate different equipment and Coach Devin always accommodated my requests. So thank you. If you don't have access to any equipment, don't worry. You can still have a great workout. Just customize your plan with your coach. Make sure it's tailored to you. It's 8.15, get ready to go to work. But before I do, I'm gonna step in the sauna and then finish off with a nice cold shower. 
A lot of benefits of cold exposures, especially in the morning. So if you're curious, there's a lot of literature on that. The mood booster that you feel afterwards is totally worth the discomfort. You might not feel like it initially, but over time, it's definitely a noticeable difference. Don't think, because I spend an hour in the gym, I'm gonna lose an hour of work. That mindset is logical, however, it's very paradoxical because it's a gift that keeps on giving. If I spend an hour here and I grind, I get healthier, I get a mood boost, I feel more energetic, I'm a lot more productive and structured in my day to day. There's so much more to fitness than running and burning calories. I think the reason that there's such a big community is that it's a lifestyle. It's the way that you feel about yourself, the confidence that you can gain, and how you choose to treat your body. The one thing that you will keep uh, till the grave. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, I really want to get started, or I really want to elevate, there are so many tools out there, free tools. There are tools that you could pay for. Whatever gets the job done, and whatever is within your means, that you align yourself with your goals, and really give it your best. I encourage you to look into the Copilot app. It's definitely helped me in the last two months. Uh, reach out to your coach often, ask a lot of questions. Uh, they're there to help you. It's a journey that we're all in together. It's a journey that's, I think, very important. And if you're hesitant, no strings attached, you can use my link for a free trial. If you like it, cool. You found a routine for you. If you don't like it, try something else. Gotta go to the sauna. We'll see you in the clinic. Okay, let's get started with clinic. Our first cute patient is here. We'll tune in a second. Hey. Hi. It's lunchtime. Enjoy it. Wow. Fine to see We're you. eating, we're eating, uh, <laughs> what is this? Uh, Sundeku. Sundeku. Oh my gosh. Monica's <laughs> oh, the best. Amazing. You know, some people said uh, in the comments, they're like, oh, Monica's a dime. Monica's a I, I purposely, I purposely haven't been watching the comments because I don't want to read bad ones either. None of them are bad. They're just saying you're a snack. Did anyone DM you yet? I got like 45 um, like friend requests. Okay, any of them cute? No, I haven't checked them out because I don't know them. Well, it's time to get to know them. <laughs> we'll take an extended lunch break. <laughs> Ooh. If Monica doesn't come back after lunch, we know um, we know what well. One thing that's been really helpful for me, uh, probably the most real piece of advice, is to find ways to not hate your workout and to not hate your diet. It sounds stupid, but I went through this phase where working out was more of a chore then it was something I look forward to doing. And it was very draining. There's so many obligations in our life already. You have to work, you gotta study, you gotta pay bills, you gotta, I don't know, walk your dog. If you hate running, don't run. If you hate salad, don't eat your salad. Instead, focus on things that you can do. You can enjoy your fitness routine more if you don't let these obligations weigh you down. Along the same lines, when you get hyper-focused on results, and making progress, sometimes you may lose sight of whether you're even enjoying the process or not. If you feel that the goal and the progress that you have to make is suffocating you, is creating some burdensome obligation, try to get that weight off. Because the moment that you start associating your fitness journey with this kind of negative energy, it's really hard. You could be going down a path to burning out. Rather, focus on your small accomplishments, what you can manage at the time that you're dealing with stuff. We're not always going to be at our best. Sometimes put it 100% could put a mental toll on us. In those times, it's important to give yourself some space and to know when to pull back. You can manage your own pace. If you give yourself that kind of grace, you'll find that the fitness journey can be a lot more enjoyable and more sustainable. How you doing? Hey, what's good coach? All is well, how have you been? Good, good. I uh, worked out this morning. Still putting on weight? Um, the weight gain slowed down a little bit, as expected. I'm not gonna you know, keep gaining like a monster, but I'm maintaining the, the plus seven. Okay. Plus seven. I'm gonna see if I can hit 15 by the summer, but 
it'll be a it'll be a more gradual process, I think. After yeah, we'll throw in those finisher sets. Okay. Add in new pieces of equipment just to add some flavor and some novelty, and yeah, continue to to chug along. Okay, I appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Well, I won't let you down. In summer, I might be bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. Okay, I'm I'm <laughs> How you been though? Everything's good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm here with family. Um, we're under like tornado watch, but oh, it's no. like everyday Dallas stuff. So yeah.